Oh, my dear, dear disciples, it's been a long time since I've made something, and that's not really fair. I've been wanting to make something, but I, frankly, I've been lazy, and I've actually had other things going on. So, with my glorious return, I bring to you a video that I've been working on and had the idea for for quite a while, and that is the... Riley Dennis, Quirio Brothers video. I hope that you enjoy it. Now I know for a fact that all of, if not most of you, know who Riley J. Dennis is. She's the person famous for saying, and I quote, Would you date someone who's trans? Would you date someone who's black? Would you date someone who's fat? Would you date someone who's disabled? Well, if you said no, I'm sorry, but that's pretty discriminatory. That's right, we're talking about this hideous trash bag of a human being. Yep, but we're not talking about the video. No, in fact, I don't think that this video is original anymore. Now, instead, we're taking a look at one of Riley's, well, lesser-known videos. It's about Mario Party. And oh my god, does Justin fuck this up so bad. I'm not gonna lie, the reason why this video took me so long to make was because I was just trying to purely fucking understand it. Hey everyone, my name is Riley. I already have a headache. Justin's shrill and obnoxious voice makes me want to put a gun to my head. And today we're going to be talking about why all of the Smash Ultimate characters are queer. I've done a couple other videos like this, one for Mario Tennis Aces and one for Super Mario Party. So you should go watch those. I will link them in the description. Don't watch those videos. Please don't subject yourself to that kind of torture. Please, for your and my own sake, don't do it. And if you are that stupid, please leave a dislike on her video. And there are like 70-something characters in Smash Ultimate, so I won't be able to do a lot of detail for all of them. Are you saying that your cancer won't spread to everything you touch this time? Huh, Riley, I'm kind of impressed. I'm gonna try to keep this as brief as possible as I can with over 70 characters. <laughs> I had to open my fucking mouth. If you're gonna get mad about someone headcanoning fictional characters, then I think you need a hobby or just literally anything else to do with your time. So then what does that say about you, Riley? I mean, you're literally just making a video calling other fictional characters queer. Do you not see the problem with this? So you can go be mad about that somewhere else? Don't get mad at my stupid video with stupid ideas and stupid topics. All these people over here are like saying that I'm easily offended and then they get offended when I make videos about the gender and sexuality of fictional characters. You know what, Riley? That's a really good point. I think I'm going to stop making this video right now and apologize for every bad thing that I've ever said about you. Said no one ever. So first up, we have Link, who I think is obviously non-binary, because he just, he has a very, like, androgynous looking face. <laughs> Come on, you can't be serious. I haven't played a lot of the older Zelda games, but like, in Breath of the Wild, there's even a part where he has to dress up as a woman, and like, he looks great. And Hello, editing Conchu here. I just want to say that this video was a bitch to make. Riley does not space her words out at all, and it's very very difficult to make it professional. Riley, if you ever, ever watch this, please space out your words. It isn't hard. So you don't think that Link dresses up as a lady for a story purpose, like at all? You think there's no reason for it? I admit I haven't played Breath of the Wild, I haven't bothered to, but it, come on, it seems super, super obvious that they didn't just make Link dress as a woman 
for no reason. There's a story element to it. God damn it, Riley. His face is just very androgynous. Like, this seems like a character that, like, anyone could kind of picture themselves in, regardless of whether they're a boy or a girl and or, or, or non-binary. And so I think Link has to be non-binary, right? But I Riley, literally anyone can do that with any character from any media. It isn't hard to do. I could picture myself being a male version of Laura Croft if I fucking wanted to. I can do that with a fucking version of Princess Peach if I wanted to. I could do that with any female character if I wanted to. What the hell makes Link so special? I simply don't understand it, Riley. Your logic is just balls to the wall, and it makes no sense. Next up, we got, I'm going to do like three characters in one. We got Samus, Dark Samus, and Zero Suit Samus. Because Zero Suit Samus is in the Samus suit, and Dark Samus is just the dark version. That's Riley's fancy-ass way of just saying it's the same person. Obviously, Samus is a trans lesbian. <laughs> Her suit has like the broad shoulders. She's like super tall. Like in canon, she's like seven feet tall or something. And obviously, not all trans women have broad shoulders and are really tall. But that's that's definitely more of like a trans woman trait. And or it can be one of those things. Oh, what are they called? What are they called? Oh yeah, a fucking design choice. How to describe it? I just I just relate a lot to her, and therefore trans lesbian. All right. You are what I think you are because that's what I say you are. Yeah, that seems like Riley J. Dennis. Riley, you are nowhere near the level of badassery that Samus Aran is. On one hand, Samus fights monsters and saves people, and has a badass suit of armor. You just have a camera and whine about feminism and pronouns on the internet. Yeah, yeah, you're you're really alike. You fucking delusional. Next, oh, next up is Kirby, who I love so much. Oh, great. I think Kirby is just a pure feminine little trans boy and bisexual because Kirby, Kirby sucks up everything. Kirby doesn't care what the gender of something it's sucking up is. Kirby. Wow, what a very original and funny joke, which has not been stated a hundred million times. You fucking normie. So Kirby survived the like world of light thing where they like wiped out everyone and only a trans person has that much resilience. You fucking sexist. The women are powerful too. You must fight back against Riley J. Danis. Ooh, next up we got Fox. Fox is a bi cis guy. It, it, it's a fox, Riley. I just feel like he has that cool edge and I just picture bi guys as always being like cool and confident and that's definitely like a stereotype I have in my head but that's how I- Ooh, Riley just did a stereotype! Riley, you said so yourself that stereotypes are not a good thing. Not really a good ally, aren't you? Okay, let's do uh, Pikachu and Pichu as one thing because both of them have like in the Pokemon games, they have gender differences between the two Pokemon, like there are female and male Pikachu and Pichu. But in Smash, all of the characters, I think, for Pikachu are male, except for the wrestler one, which has the female, like, heart tail. Because I can't see the tail right here when I'm- Wow, you actually got something right. Yes, in the Pokemon games, they have a gender. Who'd have fucking thought that you would get something right? Ugh. And you're going to say something really dumb here in a minute, so I'm just going to add the Pikachu and Pichu. They're animals. They're fucking animals. So I'm going to laugh my ass off when you say something that's utterly foolish. Both of them have, like, mostly male forms and then a female form as well, so I'm going to say genderqueer, and then they both just, like, sometimes present as femme, you know? Assuming that all of their costumes are, like, the same Pikachu or Pichu. Never mind. I'm just fucking angry. Uh, Ness and Lucas we're going to talk about together, since, again, basically the same person, except Lucas has a cool snake. I think they're both ace and arrow, or at least Ness is ace and arrow, and Lucas, like, considers himself on the spectrum. It might be, like, gray asexual or something, but, but both of them are on some kind of ace arrow level. Cap I honestly don't know what that means. And honestly, I don't want to know, but from what I get, you're saying they're asexual. And you're just as equally stupid with all the other characters. 
Captain Falcon, loud and proud, gay cis man. Absolutely. Because that's what you are? Climbers, the brother is gay and the sister is bi. Why, you might ask? I have no idea. That's just how I see the ice climbers. You are a cunt, 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 cunt. Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard. Squirtle is a trans woman who hasn't totally figured out her sexuality yet. Ivysaur is going to be a gay girl, but also bi-romantic. So only feels like sexual attraction towards other girls, but feels romantic attraction towards anyone. And Charizard is a trans guy. A straight trans guy. Oh my god. You are a cunt, cunt. Wait, 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 wait. What was that last one? Charizard is a trans guy. A straight trans guy. Oh. <laughs> are, are you fucking serious? This fucking retard got a trans male from a dragon. A fire-breathing dragon. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. A trans guy. Oh my god, Sonic. Oh, what is Sonic? I feel like Sonic is a pan-romantic, asexual trans guy. So basically, he's like super romantic and into everyone, but he also just doesn't really feel sexual attraction and doesn't know what everyone's going on about. And he runs really, really fast because he's always trying to escape just queer phobia in general. Queer phobia. I feel like critiquing what you have to say but what good is it gonna do? You're hopeless. You're stupid. You're mentally deficient. You may actually be insane, Riley. Please go get some help. Ugh, I can't take any more. I can't. No, I'm done. This thing is so mentally deficient, so brain dead, so absolutely retarded that I can't fucking stand anymore, and I only got through about half of it. If you want to watch the rest of the video, it's your funeral, but thank you for supporting me, I guess, whatever you guys do. I'm going to go get some aspirin and a fucking fifth of whiskey. Now I come to slaughter, I am the night, the last to punch you, and I am coming to the right for you, I will floor you, I will call you down from your perch, and then I will destroy you, I am the night, the last to punch you, and I am coming to the right for you, I will floor you, I will call you down from your perch, and then I will destroy you.